Hi guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to the channel. So I am in a lot more into the sort of like making videos to do with cars now rather than just like random crap that I film. Although this is still random crap. It's whatever. This video is actually to announce to you guys that I have actually got rid of the Clio. I have made like a few videos on the Clio. I thought it would be valid to do an update on... The next car I've got, which is definitely an upgrade to the Renault Clio. The Clio was an absolute beast, but but it didn't suck my bank account dry. So I guess there is that to owning a Mark III Clio. The Clio um, has been sold to a young girl's family um, as she she's only just passed her test. So the Clio is going to be a good first car for her. Hopefully they treat it with the respect that Rita, that was the Cleo's name, that Rita deserves. So the new car that I've got now is a R56 Mini Cooper S Grey. It has the same grill as the JCW R56, I believe. Um, because I know they changed they changed the grills um, between the R53 and the R56. So this car is a 1.6 turbo. I've actually got some power going on in here. We're going on to why I have changed cars to the Mini. Since I've been like a lot more involved and keen on learning about cars, learning about modified cars and stuff over the past like year, I have learnt like so much. I'm always aiming for higher anyway. And I just really wanted some power because even though I, <laughs> in the Clio, I drove pretty slowly. I just really wanted something that I could easily source parts for and it wouldn't cost me an arm and a leg to like make custom parts for it because it was so hard to find parts for it and also the car did break break on me i don't know i was just always scared in that car but the things i do miss about the clio is it had a massive boot for like a three door was huge like there was so much space to be fair i have no friends i only drive alone so there's no point in having um a lot of space my insurance was 1400 by the way i actually bought this car when i was looking at loads of r56 minis like this exact same age of these like this is 2007 i was getting quotes for like 600 pounds like 800 pounds with a spoiler on came to the day of insuring it and i don't know why but prices just die high so oh my boyfriend found this mini on facebook marketplace and i mainly look on auto trader this was about 40 minutes away from me really low mileage like um the cars on 55,400. Uh, have a look at it and this was the day before lockdown i insured it for three hours and me and my boyfriend drove it home we went out with my brother so much fun like the first time driving this car home was like oh my gosh I am so proud of myself for saving up all this money. I wanted to get the timing chain done and I said to the guy, I said, well, you haven't had the timing chain done. I'm gonna have to pay like 500 pounds to get it done. Would you mind knocking it down? And he said, yeah, fine. I didn't realize I'd like this car more, like as much as I as I do now. I, I literally wouldn't even swap it for like an Audi. I will say to you, look forward to seeing videos of future mini mods. I'm loving the German car life the BMW life even though my family are a fan a massive fans of original minis and they don't believe that this should be called a mini because it's BMW comment down below what your thoughts are on that because it's a very big controversial argument my next video which will probably be sat right here in the same clothes <laughs> same t-shirt as this video because I'm gonna film another video if you haven't seen enough of the car already on Instagram, then, you know, just look forward to these videos that are coming up. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you have the time to do that one second click a button thing. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>